Okay, this is my new tutorial video on how to make a background for YouTube using Paint.net. A couple of people asked me to do this, and I just thought, hey, whatever, I'm going to do it. So, first thing you're going to do is go to Image, canvas, click Canvas Size, change the width to 1,221, and change the height to 1,731. These are the actual dimensions I got from. No, actually, I got a, some a different set of dimensions from uh, Opal Heart Studios, who sent me a message telling me all kinds of junk you need to know. So the first thing I'm gonna tell you about is gradients. This this little um, thing here is a little icon in your toolbar. You can't see my colors for some reason but it takes the red is your primary color and your blue is the secondary color and you can mess around with it with these little icons here you can change the way it looks and all kinds of cool stuff change the color with your colors panel again you can't see it with right now for reasons unknown I'm gonna go with this one because I kinda like it so you probably want to know how to make text on your background. So you go click on the text icon and I use impact which is my favorite font. You know make your primary color white or whatever color contrasts with your uh, with your background. Make it a big font like 72 or something and put your username username right there. You can move around the fonts using that little click button with the cross arrows on it change it to italics, underline it, make it bigger, capitalize it, whatever. Change colors. So right about here is where your screen, your little um this is where your that box right there is where your video videos will be and where your other videos will be, the comments box and the uh your about me box. So all those boxes are places where those are going to be. Now I'm going to show you how to put a picture. I'm sure you want to know how to put pictures. So you go to import from file under layers, the layers tab. And I'm just going to advertise for Wapolopo here. Put his logo here. Major advertising for Wapolopo. Subscribe to him. He's in my other channels box. So to write, te write text on pictures, click the deselect icon. It's a little page with a red X on it up underneath uh, uh, images, I think. I'm not sure. Um, click where, you, where uh, you want it. Start typing. Make it smaller than your title, obviously. But seriously, check out Wapolopo. He's pretty awesome. Again, you can move it around. You can move around whatever text you want, I think. Now you can draw lines using the line tool. You can change it to arrow or flat or whatever. I'm going to change it to arrow just for some to ch change it to an arrow just for some fun. And you know, you can change the size of your arrow or line or whatever and mess around with the shape of the arrow and move it around to somehow that I'm not sure of. Wasn't letting me do it. I think there is a way to though. Whoops. Make sure you click it deselect after everything. If you're done if you're done moving it, you make sure you click deselect after everything or else it'll move your screen around and mess it all up. So over here in this top right hand corner is your um is your history box. It has everything that you've done on the program so far. So you can right click to delete, right click on one of your little things there that says like line or eraser or whatever, and it will erase everything underneath that up to that thing. So I'm going to show you what happens. Sometimes this happens where an image is not, it doesn't have the white background all edited out. So I'm going to show you how to get rid of that. So first of all, make it a little bigger. Now go to your eraser tool, make the brush size a little bit bigger, 
you know, something like 20 or something like that. Maybe even bigger. You can zoom in. It's a little magnifying glass button. And you can just erase all of that. All that nice white stuff. Or if you want to have some fun doing your little erasing thing, change your brush size to 500 and bye bye Blastoise. You know, you and you also you can't erase anything that's outside the selected box. It doesn't work for some reason, which I kind of like because it saves me from just des destroying my checkout Lapopo thing. Obviously, you can't see Blastoise anymore, and see so you you can't erase anything else. Only the thing in the selected box. And you can't see my toolbars right now, but I am undoing all of that stuff. I know you can't see it. Oh, there it is. And it disappeared again. That's weird. I don't know why it does that. My computer does a lot of stuff. I don't know why it does. But again, you can just erase, erase that whenever you want or do whatever. So now I'm going to show you kind of a cool effect you can do with this program. Also, uh, switch your primary color to white, and remember to click deselect, and change the brush size way down, not that much. That's good, I guess. Looks the same as before, but you can distort your picture or whatever. And always make sure you have, you select the select box select tool. Before you do this, go to effects, then go to blurs. Uh, then go to Gaussian Blur or whatever it's called. And it, you can do some really neat stuff with this. I think it looks pretty cool. With the effect you can create. And I'll show you something kind of neat you can do with it in a second. So look at it after the blur. Click somewhere else to get the box off of it. See that? You can make cool like shine things or like reflecting pieces of reflected light or whatever it is that I'm, I'm not explaining as well. Mm, you can make pretty good, you can make it look like it's being reflected off a window or something with the Gaussian blur. And I think I just see what happens if you don't select your um, the pla the spot you want to uh do the blur on it blurs your whole page so make sure you've done that so i just erased my crummy bent arrow there and click the line tool again size i'm not sure what the size is but i just pick one that looks right now you make a line all the way down all the way to the bottom make sure it's straight go to actually um I just did it wrong again make sure you click uh or make sure you box select your line or else it'll do that to your page again so I'm going to select the arrow all the way or the all the way to the just select the line all the way to the bottom. Now, you can click repeat Gaussian blur, which is right there. It does the same uh, percentage. Now it's nice and fast. I like that. So this is pretty neat what you can do with this. It's just a line all the way down the page, and I think it looks kind of neat. You can make one across, too, if you want to. Remember to select it. It's crucial you remember all these cool steps and things because uh, you can mess up your whole project if you don't do it right. 
but I think that pretty much wraps up my tutorial here. I will see you guys in my WordPad writing. I'll entertain you with some music. Do 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 do. No, seriously, you should remember to subscribe to me. You know, this is just my little popularity booster thing here. Yeah, this is real serious stuff. Remember to subscribe to Wapo Wapo. Always do that, even if you've already subscribed to him. I'm gonna put it in all this good stuff, bold and underline, and make it blue. No, that's a dumb color. Make it, ooh, I know, maroon. Yeah, that really stands out. Make sure you do that. I'll see you guys next time.